Hello everyone. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am going to work on the Memories of the Meadow. Um, you know, I'm going to work on this a little off camera and I'm going to work a little on camera depending on what I'm going to do. When I start just filling up all these blank pages, I won't do that on camera. But if I'm doing something uh, different, then I will. Okay. So here I've covered this um, side of the of the cover of the journal. This is the front, and then I covered this, and I put um, the um, corner uh, corners on there. I'm checking my camera because I moved. I hit my head on the camera, uh, <laughs> and it moved everything. So I'm trying to get it back uh, to where it was. So anyway. Um, I don't know that I'm going to put a pocket or not there. I think it depends on how full this book gets. Okay, so what I thought I would do here is make some, like, three pockets, small ones. I think they would look cute there. Or two, I'm not sure which way it's going to work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I took this collage page. Let me see which one. The pockets will go this direction when I put them on. Um, actually, they'll be like pretty much like that. I'm just uh, trying to get a an idea of what they would look like. But this is part of the kit. This is the collage pages. And that way I can do all the pockets out of this sheet. I kind of like that one. I think it has a little more floral. We'll see. It doesn't matter. I can just uh, redo it, right? All right. So now my I have this is 8.5 by 11. And I have um, cardstock. And I was just going to make another uh, comment, but I can't remember. Oh, um, mine is all done on um, borderless. But um, let me move this because we don't need it right this second. Um, borderless, so uh, your sizing may be a little different, but you need to get three sections out of here. So I know three and a half uh, is going to be the correct size that I need. So I'm going to go three and a half. I meant to write these numbers down. Um, okay, so we're going to go three and a half. Uh, and then that'll be three times. And that's across your page. The um, Across your page um, horizontally. I guess. All right. So there's three and a half. There's one. And then we'll go three and a half again. So you should be able, even with your little borders, when you cut those off, you still should get three and a half. Okay. And then three and a half again. And see, we have like this much left over. Okay, this little little strip. So you won't have very much left over if you uh, have the whites on, on your edges. All right, then we're gonna take these here, and they're not exactly three. Why is this, um, I don't know why I can't get this. That's why I don't like this one. I, I probably should invest. Uh, I'm just going to leave it. Okay. So then um, each one of these I'm going to score. Um, let's see. I'm just going to fold this in half. Um, now let's fold this, uh, score this side sides first. Boy, I barely, this thing is not big enough. 
So we're going to score um, a half inch on both sides. Okay. Can you see that little note? I hope so. All right, so a half inch, um, which would be right here. I don't like that score thing. And then I can go at actually a half inch and I can go at three because we cut it at three and a half. Okay. Let's do this one. Let's do it on three and a half. So it's just a half inch on each side. Um, if Depending on what size you want to make your pocket, I'm not sure what the finish size of this is, but I think it's going to be three, I hope. Okay, so now I'm going to make a score mark right there so you don't have to measure exact you just just so that it'll fold in half nicely okay and then we're gonna do this one also so just fold it in half and score If you know what the exact measurement is, you don't have to fold it in half, but it's pretty much the easiest way. Okay. I think that's all we need to do for scoring. Okay, so fold in half and score. All right. I might need, well, I've got another bone folder. Okay, so now we're going to find out which part we want to be the front of our card. Oh, that's cute right there. And so what we're going to do is, no, it's not straight because, because I didn't cut it straight. It's kind of hard to see. Um, Let's do it this way. Actually, I can see better. So what I'm going to do is just cut this out like that and like that. And then we're going to cut this one up here and right here. Okay. You know what I want to check? I think I, I probably should have waited and cut just in case I needed to cut the tops off. Um... Yeah, I think that's going to be too tall. I kind of wanted three of them. Hold on, let me just... Yeah, those are too tall. Um, let's see. What is this? Um, this is like four... Like four and a quarter high. And this is going to be... I believe three inches. No, it's going to be two and a half. Hmm. Thought it would be three. I don't know. If I was making a quilt, I think it would be three. <laughs> I don't. Maybe that's what I'm thinking is a quarter inch on each side, not half. Okay. So anyway, two and a half is fine. But um, yeah, I think this is too tall. So let me cut down each one of these first. I'm not sure. I think this is 10. Um, and I don't want it to be, I want it a little taller than two and a half. I'm sorry, I should have figured this out earlier, but I wasn't all right so that it's two and a half so that would be three how about if we do three and a half tall 
Let's see if that works. I just want to get three on here if I can. Okay. Well, those would be cute for something. So three and a half. Usually if you just go an inch, you know, higher it, in proportion, it comes out. Okay. You know, it doesn't look funny or squatty or flat or whatever. Okay. Now, let me just look at these real quick. <laughs> nope. Okay. I think we're going to get two. Um, I, it would be okay to have two. So let's just work on two right now. Okay, so let me fold this back. And then we're just going to cut this angle here. And this one here. And this one. These are the easiest little pockets to make. I'm sure I saw somebody do this. I don't remember who. It could have been in a kit. Sometimes I get things that are in a kit. Let's see. I might want to save those big ones. So now I'm going to go ahead and do all these. So I like this one here. So I'm going to get my punch and I'm going to punch out. The center. Let's see, this is going to be. Hold on two and a half. So the center is one and a quarter. I mean, mark it because I don't want it to look weird. One and a quarter. Okay. Make that one a top one. One and a quarter. I'm measuring from the top of this pocket because the ends the other side the sides will be folded in. Okay, one and a quarter. Um, yeah, I like that one with the ticket. So I'm just going to go in there. Let's do them all the same. <laughs> if we can. Obviously they're a little crooked. But uh, the depth, I want them all the same, or look pretty much the same. I tell you, some days my hands just do not work. I know some of you other journal people, journal creators have the same issue with your hands. It's old age, probably, right? Okay. So I'm sorry, but we have to ink. Well, no, we don't. Let's... I'm going to ink this part. And, oops, this part, because it'll be hard to get in there and ink after the fact. enough of a divot to worry about. Ugh, too much ink on it. So 
I could have cut these down more to make them a better fit, but I don't want to take up too much time. Okay, so now we're going to fold these in. Okay, hold on. Um, I lied. We're going to cut this part off. I'm sorry. I forgot that we were going to cut these away. we didn't really need to do all of them and then this is going to get hold on didn't cut it away enough oh my gosh I fold it and cut it right down the fold line. Okay. So now we're just going to glue these shut. I'm just thinking if I glued it to this inside here, it would be a lot more space in the pocket. So I think I'm going to do it that way. Let me get this glue off. <laughs> My intentions are good every single time I do a, a uh, video, but sometimes I'm just not. Okay, let's let that dry. All right. So we're going to cut these two away. Start cutting and you think, did I is that the way I wanted to do it? I'm gonna ink these before I glue them. My intentions to do it this way was to make my pockets have more room inside. All right, so that, that works. So you could actually cut these back sides in a little more than it would be inside there. All right, so there's one. Yay. <laughs> Let's do this now, I think it's drying. first. Oh well. Yeah, see if you cut this um, maybe at an angle even because this part's going to get glued down unless you're not going to glue it down for some reason. But you don't probably have to if you want to just to stick it in a pocket. I don't really need to ink that side. Okay. Yeah, all I can get is two. All right, so one real quick. Use it somewhere else. Okay. 
just going to go in a hair. Just want to see how this works if I just go in a little bit more. So that's that, and this one I don't think, unless I stack them, how about, how about if I stack them, I could do that. I always feel like I, I need three of something. So if I stack them and just glue them on the side, no, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. So up here I'm going to put something because um, I got glue up there. So I just want to put, I don't know what, lace, I think. All right, so let's, um, we've got to make sure these are totally straight when I glue them. So what I'm going to do is glue, hold on a second. same I guess they're close enough I mean I could be really picky and this one probably could go up just a hair sure there's enough room up at the top. You probably can't even see what I'm doing. Okay. I just want to make sure there's enough room at the top. So I went one inch uh, above the prior pocket. So I'm going to glue those together so they become one. you call these um, library pocket library card pockets maybe okay all right so now I'm going to glue out down all the back sides I don't think um, I don't need to leave them open. Let me just see how like a journal card would fit. Yeah, perfect. Those are the ones that go on the front cover. All right, so everything is gonna be glued down. So if you weren't going to end up doing this, because this is what I ended up doing. Um, you know, 
just to make the pocket the same is all right so that sits there like that these get glued I'm just gonna glue this down so it stays down and then this is going to be glued down and make a pocket Oh, 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 oh. I lied. Got to cover this. Um, what was I thinking? <sighs> I need to cover this page. Let me see. I have this collage page, but I don't know. Would that be too much? Actually, I think it looks kind of nice together. Let's see. Hmm. I kind of like that one, even though it's the same. All right, let me cut this down. It doesn't even have to be that far down. Well, I'm going to go to the edge because let's just do this real quick. So many pages to cover in this journal. And one of the my subscribe subscribers or um, commented about probably should have ripped this instead. How she I can't think of her name at the moment. Um, I'm sorry, you would think I could think of it. Well, no, not really. But I wish I could think of it. So anyway, she was saying that she cuts leaves like a half inch like we did here. I don't know if you can here we did. I'm just gonna tell you this right off. Um, or I'll forget. So she cut her pages all down the same length all the way, every page. And then she took her coffee dye paper and glued it back on to the pages that she wanted to add to the book. And I thought, that's really a clever idea, only because you still have your book cover, you know, you have your spine, all those things if you don't like to do that. Kind of, you know, if you don't like to put your own spines in and your own everything. Let me glue stick this. So yeah, I thought that was really um, ingenious. And it's in the comments. If you wanna go look at it, it's in the comments of, I think the cover of this I did yesterday's, or I don't know what day it was, video. One or two back. Not very far. I'm just going to... X marks the spot. Exactly the right length, but I can go back and trim that. Okay, then I'm going to put 
this here. What should it inked around here to? I really love this green background and I kind of wanted to leave as much of it as I could. I'm gonna have to go back and trim this, you guys, so it won't be a big deal. Okay, so now I can glue this down. See if it's correct. Mm, I don't really. I mean, I'm gonna fill that in where it didn't get. This little guy works great for doing edges, but you know, if you want to get deeper in, then you need something. Okay, let's find a piece of lace to go up there. Do we have any from? I can't think of anything else that would look good up there. You know, just a piece of paper would not, I don't think, great look great. So I'm just going to use this. I would have left it had I not got a glue spot here and there. Put new glue in here. Make sure I got the right side. Come on. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I needed to let it run down to the bottom. But I have it kind of sitting upside down, so that shouldn't be a problem. I think I'll leave a little space up at the top. Okay. So you guys are wondering what's going to go in here. Well, I'll show you. This is a record sleeve from a vintage record. And I'm going to put this in there. So I'm going to make a, a journal card that will slide down in here and it will be um, seen from, from this side as well. So and up in here, I'll have to find some the journal cards and stick those in the pockets. How long have I been? Oh, I got a few seconds here. So what I, th I don't have a, a page right now. Let's see. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I just want, you know, something to show through in the front. Um, and I was going to do this as a hinge, but I changed my mind. It's, I just did. Okay, so... You know what I was thinking would be cute? If I put Memories of the Meadow inside here like it was the record. <laughs> so I don't know if I can do that. Might be a good idea to try it this way. So that would show through. 
do them on the, I, it's because this is cardstock and that's what I want to use is cardstock um, kind of like the break of all the floral if I did this hmm. be nice not to have to go print another piece of cardstock I have ooh, some collage paper I can't probably fit that in there but that looks kind of nice too just because it's kind of neutral Versus up here. I like that section there. And then it's all ready to I could just sew around it. All right, I think I'm going to do that because then I think if I want to, I could put some words in that. Um, all right, so I know this is seven inches. It's seven, so I'm gonna do uh, six and seven eighths, I think, or six and something, hold on. There's a little thing there. lid on this. It's not goopy. It's only 80 degrees out. It's really, um, I'm going to trim this. It's raggedy on the edges. Okay. Six and six and seven eighths. smaller all right I'll take a quarter of an inch off be done with it there's some kind of work going on somewhere um, in the background, all I can hear is the roar of this like uh, truck or machine, or and it's been doing that for a couple days now, or I guess since Monday. It's just I don't know building everything above and around me. All right, so that's that's good. This edge off. Um, I think I'll just cut it right at the top. guess we'll end up putting it in the way I had it but you could do it I guess go in this direction if you wanted I'll just have to figure
figure out which way I want it when I do the words. All right. Oh, I'm get my piece of this. That's the problem with collage. Is you don't get everything totally glued down. around it so I think it would look better like that kind of an awkward journal size card but okay and then I'll sew around this so right now I'm just gonna stick it back inside Oh, don't tell me now it's not. How can it be? I didn't, it wasn't supposed to be vertical. Did I? I guess I cut off the wrong edge. I thought this was totally seven by seven. It's not. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll cut it off before. I don't want to take your time to do that. So let me just, well, this way it fits, right? I'm just gonna, oh my gosh. I have to go back and glue all these little spots. I just want to see how it fits in here now. Okay. I kind of wanted to cut this out when I first started working on this to see what I wanted to do. I thought I should cut this out to match this. Um, but then I thought, well, what can I do? You know, so I didn't do it. But on this, let's see now, do I have any time left? Um, I was gonna stencil on it and I'm trying to see what I did with the stencils. I just picked up some that Hobby Lobby, hold on. Oh yeah. It was too big to put on my um to put in my stencil little box thing. Okay, does this have a No, nope. just have to cut it open. Yes. So I'm probably not going to do this right now, but I'm going to give you an idea of what I'm planning to do. And okay, this one has got leaves going around it. Oh, that's pretty. Can I do, hold on. Can I do this around it? I could. I wonder what that would look like. Not sure. Hmm. I was actually thinking, uh, when I was thinking of stenciling, I was thinking of using just these corners, but they're not the same size either. Hmm, I kind of like the wreath. Hold on one second. Let's just use this piece of paper. Just gonna see what it looks like. Move 
dipped it. It doesn't have to be a real strong stencil. It's not showing on this green very well at all. Maybe I should um, get a dark green. Okay, so just visualize that around that. And I don't have anything else to use this color to test it. It's not even, you know what, I could probably, you guys might not see it, but I wanna see how the color looks. That's well, not bad. Hmm. doing it on both sides. Okay. Hey, X marks the spot. I'm trying to go by this leaf, this, and this, and this. They look to be about even Why this seems so dry? Maybe this is an older one. No, it's newer. Okay. I feel like I'm working really hard to get this. Probably need to put some water on it. I forget how long I've had some, I usually date it because I don't remember, um, you know, if it's one month old, if it's two weeks old or, or what. And then the fact that I leave it open a lot, the whole time, pretty much. I just wanna get, make sure I get this outer part. So I think this one will look better when it, if it's completely stenciled. All right. All right, that's not too bad. Maybe I won't do both sides. You know, some uh, of these come with like a divot, you know, your record covers. My son is um, sells records on, on eBay. Um, he hadn't for a long time, but he's getting back into it. And he has 8,000 45s. <laughs> he bought out almost a whole radio station from the 80s. Um, it was all Western uh, music, and they're all promo um, records. So, meaning they, they're records that the people, like Johnny Cash, let's say, um, would have given that record to the record company in advance of, you know, so that people would hear his music 
on the radio before it went out to the stores kind of thing. So they were called promos. Yeah, I don't know. I might do the back, I might not. If I cut that the wrong, I should have measured it both ways, but I didn't. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hmm. I'm not that fond of stenciling. I mean, I like it uh, to stencil lightly, like, but I felt like I needed to give that a little more than just a little too bright. guys so um that's it this green is probably <laughs> very annoying um so that's our little project for today and i hope you guys enjoyed what i've done the worst part could be putting this in it doesn't look too bad um I'll, maybe i'll try to put a little bit of this um in the little pockets or something. And I could decorate these also. Um, what did I, I saw, these were, let me see, the original little pockets I was gonna make to put in here. I should have done that because they're a little shorter, squattier. But see, I could put like little um, flowers on there, it would be cute at least on this bottom one anyway. I don't know. It's been fun. This journal has been fun. Um, I have to say I've enjoyed um, working on it. I, I just feel like it's going to get so thick <laughs> that um, we're not going to be able to even close it. But. So a lot of the pages in the future pages, because I've kind of divided up the bigger um Thing. This one I did, I think, oh, I put a piece of Velcro on here. I've never used Velcro before, but I just got some to hold that shut. Um, yeah, so I may just put some of the kit pockets on the rest of the pages because it's going to get too full. All right, so that's it for today. See, it's already getting fuller every time I put something in. squish it. Maybe if I put something on top of it, it'll all squish down for, you know, each night or something. And that way it'll compress. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.